Hey, this is a demo of email parsing using nanonets. Broadly, we'll be taking a look at how we can use nanonets to extract structured data from emails. To get started, you can head over to nanonets.com and create an account there. I will be using my existing nanonets account here. Once you're inside the platform, you can either create your own model to cater to your own document type, or you can use one of our existing models for common document types. In this particular example, I'll be exploring the use case of reading invoice emails. So let me click here and create an invoice pre-built model. Yeah, this creates your model. At this point, your model is ready to extract data. The next step is to import emails into the model so data can be extracted from them. You can navigate to upload files and click on email here. And what you'd find is that Nanuts has provided you with an address where you can forward your emails to get data processed from them. You can copy this email address and start sending emails here. By default, Nanuts only reads attachment files present in the emails you send to this address. If you want to start reading the email body, you can activate the feature here. This is by default deactivated in the product. Now that we have done all this, let me test this setup by sending an invoice email here. So here I have a copy of an invoice email which was sent to me a few days back. I will now be sending it to the address which Nanuts has provided. You can see that the email has been imported by Nanuts and the model is now working on it and extracting data. This process typically takes a few seconds. Okay, the model has completed data extraction from the email. You can see that the model has specifically extracted fields which were relevant to an invoice email. And now you can go ahead and set up the rest of your workflow as you wish. You can either download the extracted data or you can set up a fully automated workflow. We provide you options to add other import sources as well as to modify the captured data. You can even set up manual or automated approval processes. And finally, you can set up exports to ERP softwares or databases of your choice. As you can see, we provide ready-made integrations for different kinds of softwares as well as databases.